You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on cath hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the cath hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Greetings and good day, traveler. On behalf of the Kunda settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Dantooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? Dantooine is a rural world. Since the destruction of the... The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the... My apologies. I... Error. Mem May I be... Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Error. May I be... If you...
Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? You should keep your identity secret for the time being. Try to convince this fool you are not a Jedi. A Jedi? I've got to tell the others. Yeah, sure you do. I've got to tell the others. You should have listened to me. Now we may have to confront villagers with torches and pitchforks. Yes, General? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Why did you decide to fight? The war went poorly before Revan and the Jedi lent aid to the Republic. Many of us believed the Jedi to be cowards who were afraid to face the Mandalorian threat. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Sorry, General, I'm flat out. I'll see if I can... Something else I can help.
Chara Nana Gundoso or Emina Kelorakto Kuruka Manama Tray to Sober Barakto Drun, Krishim and True Grey Babano Flank Tur Terewana Jun Konata. Charanana Gun Terewa Der Der into Run to Walk Terewa Charanana Charanana Gundos
You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. I will tell no one I've seen you, but please leave and don't cause any trouble. I think Tarn has finally cracked, running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened, and perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Garavik is a salvager, the worst one of the lot. Try to stay clear of him. He's a dangerous one to cross. If it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a... Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something of mine they have in their possession. It's very unwise to stand in my way. I am done being inconvenienced by you. You have called me. Have I not told you that I don't like interruptions? Now, this is a disruption that is most welcomed. This news bears some thought. You have done well. This time, do not interrupt me again. Preparations need to be made. Another was not expected so soon. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. What am I supposed to do? Salvagers keep trespassing on my land and stealing my farming equipment. They grab anything they can get a hold of. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. 
But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators and hydro processors. Thief must be desperate for credits. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to the salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. I see. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go over the militia rules, then. Kunda and the Salvager camp are under militia protection. So a friendly scuffle is all right. But if any blasters are drawn, there will be hell to pay. But if you buy some Jedi trinket and you're not satisfied, you're on your own. I'd stay away from the mercenary camp. We've had difficulties with them. We don't patrol or investigate there anymore. A trip there and you're on your own. Follow the rules and we don't have any problems. Oh, and Pato Ado doesn't cheat as far as we can figure. So don't complain about the Athorian either. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. Most militia news passes by me and Zeron. I might be able to help. You should see Administrator Adare about that. She'll be able to set you up. You're not a typical salvager, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble there. Oh, you heard about that. We have so much to look into that Sulru's concern is pretty low on our list. We asked the salvagers, but they claim that the salvager responsible is nowhere to be found. I've heard that rumor too. People get really riled up about Jedi around here. Some people seem to have a selective memory. During the war, the Jedi were a big help here. They did everything for us, from clearing out dangerous beasts to solving a murder investigation. I try to stay out of it, though. Standing up for Jedi is one way to become unpopular around here. Maybe. Although I don't know why a Jedi would come back here. The only reason why people ever came here before was the Enclave. And with that gone... <laughs> Easy to say for someone that doesn't live here. I'd rather grab an unshielded power coupling than get involved in that debate. The militia's dealing with enough already. <sighs> You're not wrong there. For what good it'll do, if it comes up, I'll say what I think is right. You happy? I hope so. You may be my only friend in a few days. Talking about Jedi is just depressing these days. Any other cheerful problems you want to talk about? I'm here to... All right, stay out of trouble now. Tochi modas runta. Yun bol posa mabri toshni, posa mabri toshni ki tuk tuk pamba pora. Kino molira ni bonon, kin un posa mabri toshni ki tuk tuk pamba. Pasa susho, hoshman fu ni wado ni kuta ma sapa. Toki ni kama renzo ni ina. Do wanga no chi? Ruren, manama, kochpa ino shan opara. 
Insor Jenis Melaka Wachino so Pararanta Miki Parachino Sukang Katon Makaman Parachino Sukang Katon Pararanta Miki Sikosos Tawanga Nochi Roren Chuta Kop Soranaka me gonzo ji because you're in trouble or looking for it. I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to Militia Headquarters? Hmm. There are better places to explore and better people to know. 
I'm sure you have your reasons, though. I'm sure you got questions of your own. And if you're interested, I might have some work for you. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. Two thousand credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. I got more important things to do. We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's all I can ask. You want something? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor. Right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? Visitor, please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. My point is that the previous owner of that ship was a very influential Jedi, and Jedi are not as admired here as they once were. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. I feel I must step carefully here. You are not like other Jedi I have known. You seem darker somehow. Yes, I understand. Say no more. For good or ill, I feel you are the only one remaining who can help me with the present situation. My friend, let's just call him Frock. We've known each other for many years. And our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? We need the skills of a Jedi more than ever. He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries. But he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sublevel, which isn't without its dangers, and he hasn't returned. Like many parts of Dantooine, the sublevel of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sublevel their home. Several salvagers have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvagers. 
but Vrok has not returned in some time. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? This could work to both of our advantage. You can search for artifacts for your own interest and also for Vrook at the same time. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? He was investigating the mercenaries for us. We've been increasingly concerned about them. Their behavior has always been antagonistic, but recently they've been behaving differently. Vrook was investigating this when he disappeared. We were counting on any hard intelligence he could provide. Our other assets have been unavailable recently. If you find any information on the mercenaries during your stay on our planet, please report it to Zeron or myself. I hope that his don't cause any more trouble for Dan to leave.
Search this area and never found anything. So we just got sloppy. Atmospheric senses. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye on I doubt you'd understand it. I appreciate your help. I doubt you'd be able to find evidence of what happened here. But you can come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, you just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for the you can find, even if they're broken. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot to get my one. But I also figure Yes, have you come? Mito, I best nix a dodge in my pal, Crowe no sha. Yatuka, who one rica, chotin, one ima, or rata wakata, chi luma lispa. Cavadumpa, mo wendido chokeremi no. Yatuka, who one rica, chotin, one ima, or rata wakat. Yatuka, who one rica, chotin, one ima. Bram Tabanin Sochu Yatuka Uwan Rika Chotin Wani Maurata Wak Charika Yayakta means The greatest thing is the same without resorting to the Huta Yanolia 
Jukta gene chuba wonki na ju kavana takalu kavana mi donki krato ya tuka u wanrika chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lispa ya tuka u wanrika chotin wani maurata wakata chi luma lispa bram tabanin sochu da come jus kavana takalu Shusa bagra, pachim simporo jiri, jiri chuba chavosa remala nube jome lumsa, shak wango ni. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. The crystals here are infused with the force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force.
The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Yes, have you come? Yes. Have you come with questions? That crystal is bond. Should your power increase or your resolve change, is there something else? I know her as much as I know any.
suppose you found any that's great news my it is worth more to us than that I'll pay you 4,000 credits for the lot of them thanks for your help on this here are the credits as promised I'll get this to Zeron when I get back to Kunda Thank <laughs> you. 
Any luck on getting my modulator? It's you again. Well, you know you want. So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kinrath aren't on the planes. That was very helpful of you. You saved some lives today. You want something? people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud licker. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud licker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What? I'm a veteran of the Jedi Civil War. I fought dozens of battle-trained Republic soldiers. You're going to die. Here. Here's my gun. Here's my credits. I... I can't... You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? I know about the thief. The amount of noise the settlers have made over that thief, you'd think he stole their whole planet. Before you ask, I have no idea who the thief is. It's not one of us. If we wanted something that bad, we'd just take it. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You're really not so bad, you know? They make our life difficult. They need to learn respect for those with superior strength. I don't suppose you're here... What if... You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons. I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. Thank <laughs> you. 
You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Oh, is that so? You're no mercenary, and with those armaments, this isn't a social call. You're at least thinking of heading to the ruins. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. You don't look like you're gonna crawl around the ruins. If you want to go to the sub-level, you are going to need the Administrator's permission, though. Well, you're welcome to go down there and die. The Lagrex are hungry and could use a treat. If you're not going to listen to anybody, maybe you can help me out. The only place that has anything is the sub-level. And only a couple of fools have gone there. And they're now dead fools. I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got.
tape Gather a group to go to the sub level. They're probably all gonna get killed. Oh, well, a visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? <laughs> this saddens me to hear. True, this camp isn't as opulent as you're used to with your off-world notions of comfort and decadence, but this is a place of people who toil. A question I pose to you, Traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. That is no exaggeration. Jedi holocron are very rare and invaluable tools for skilled Jedi. If this man has one, you'd be wise to obtain it. This is no idle boast, Traveler, but a fact. A holocron is easily worth many thousands of credits to any Jedi, but I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. A discerning question. Well, the reason is simple. The market of buyers is limited on Dantooine. If I were on course, and I could make a fortune with this. My dilemma is I lack the funds to travel. So I cannot reach a better market, so my price is reduced. But you travel. And surely you could find a Jedi buyer. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. How, how did you know? How will I never unload this accursed thing? This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. I, I apologize immensely. But surely you recognize that uh, attacking me here will pose problems. The militia and the salvagers will hunt you. I will not. Very well. Take it. Leave me to my poverty, my suffering. Do you feel it? The wound on this world? It is centered here. If we succeed in gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain... Then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. We will know when the time comes, and I hope our enemies do not. Announcement. You have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain.
Missing. We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cat hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? You won't find anything there except on the lowest sub level, and there you'll only find death. Lagrex are everywhere. I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub-level, and we get swarmed by Lagrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. I'm not going to tell you that. If you do rescue him, you'll just have to claim on the salvage. Jedi artifacts are rare enough these days without some newcomer coming in. So stay out of it, and we won't have a problem. Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us, and get down to our business. <laughs> 